life in in the nomad uh, still of life is very quite calm even it's hard but the nature is offered this calm because less people less scars less everything This uh, Bali is one of uh, the dearest uh, friend of our uh, grand ancestor. He is like uh, around 100 something uh, years old and he lived mostly his life in desert. He lived here, he stopped here with his family and uh, now mostly of the, par uh, the members are away with the goat and sheep and stuff like that to look for food for the animals or go and get in water. There is few family of nomads they live now. This culture of this nomad is almost finished. This changing of the climate is make it less raining. If there is no rain, I mean there is no grass, no food for the animals and mostly of the nomads they have like them animals as the source of them life. From the age what you see in this hole we are sitting now, it used to be full of water in the early time. It's totally dry now. The water is a source of life. The, the nomad, he cannot, for this little water, it cannot be enough for a lot of people. My family stopped the be nomad. It's uh, more than 15 years. And that is not because it's a choice that they need to go, but they, they must go. They have no other choice. We used to live in desert. And the drought is pushed mostly of the nomad to get away from the desert. I really I don't like to move to the cities because it's not my life, it's not my place where I find my soul or myself. I would love to stay here, but if the nature forces me to leave, I have no other choice. <laughs> We are poor, my family is poor, we come like from a poor situation and what we, all we need is just to survive, I mean we don't need more than to survive. We have no water at all here and all the water what we have is just a few liters just to keep alive every day. Water is very rare. 
it take minimum after each time it's come and when it's come it's come very uh, limited like few days like one week maximum all this water the old months in in small village they decide how they divide it there is a big piece of land but if there is no water you cannot use it for nothing it's really really difficult situation There is a lot of things, you can find it where you, you used to live as a nomad, you cannot find it in city. Calm, peace, clean air, a lot of things. I mean, all these things, we grow up with it, so we used to it. And it's hard to take a person from one situation where he used to live and to put them in a, situ uh, in a situation or a place where he doesn't grow up. It's hard. You miss your root, where it's come from. And you miss the quietness of desert. You miss peace of desert. You miss this feeling like you are completely at home when you've been a nomad. People, they should stop pollution, which is push a lot of heat and is make the uh, climate changing so fast. And it affect them and affect others that they, do, they have no, nothing to do with these things. So everybody, I think, is responsible about all what is going on because we breathe the same air. We have the same sun, we have the same goal, it's just to survive, to be alive. I thank any government or any uh, system of any country you should give more attention and serious control about these things we are the ra last generation that it should do something for this planet otherwise a human it will disappear in. This is just a simple message from Isaid Talmudi, Bani Hayyun Tagunit Zagura Al Maghrib. Yalla, 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 
Say honey, man, Nitty.